A Jesuit education is educating the mind, the body, and the spirit. And to me, what it personally meant is every student who comes to Gonzaga has a passion to leave the world a better place than we, we found it. And Gonzaga gives you the tools to harness that. We need people to think independently, to critically analyze options, and to think on their own rather than groupthink. And I believe that a Jesuit education prepares people to accept the responsibility of contributing to a democratic society by having independent thought. Jesuit education is founded in Catholic education, which is the belief that people are good. And so when we educate people, we take into consideration who they are as person, the whole person, which means their history, their families, where they've been, their experiences. And we bring them to a place where they can honor and respect and own that history. I came from public school, so I had no idea what a Jesuit was until I came here. And then once I started taking my classes, I think maybe sophomore year it clicked, it's like really growing myself as a holistic person. And kind of have a bigger perspective on like what the world is past Spokane. And that's something that I don't think I would have gotten if I didn't come to a Jesuit university. The Gonzaga experience is about so many different facets of not only education, but of yourself. Um, you're gonna come in and grow academically, but also socially, spiritually, um, ethically. Building upon that foundation that the education gives you, Gonzaga kind of takes those roots and then kind of grows you into the person you, you want to become. I really think that when we talk about men and women for or with others, or people for and with others, we're, we're not just talking about standing on the sidelines and saying, oh gosh, there's somebody suffering and, and we, we should respond to that. We have to understand people who are different than ourselves to be able to make a real mark on the world and to create a more just world. And being in solidarity with others means that we have really taken on their interests, their goals, their plans for themselves, their purpose, and made it part of our own. We strive to form men and women to be thoughtful people who are willing to take risk and enter into honest conversations, honest dialogue, uh, to not be afraid of the other, to not be afraid of the stranger, to really take that risk, right, to live their passion and take that risk in order to really be part of the larger dialogue. And I think that's what the world needs most. One of the best decisions of my life was to be able to see what a Jesuit education is, to see that focus on social justice, the developing of a whole person, you do belong here and you feel like you belong here. And a lot of that is back through your professors and all the programming, especially right now that's going on. I've definitely felt like I've been able to find my voice as a woman of color on campus, as well as felt supported. I think a lot of students are encouraged to be open-minded at Gonzaga and come out with different beliefs or different viewpoints than they thought they would at the end of their four years. Gonzaga is kind of showing us how we can grow and change and listen to others. And I think listening is more important than ever right now and just growing to be a more united community, not only the Gonzaga community, but the global community at large. I came in with a passion to change the world, um, but I think Gonzaga through not just the knowledge that you get in a textbook, but through educating your spirit and applying all of these things to the real world really taught me to question and, and make sure that I'm helping others have the opportunity to reach their full potential. They've learned lessons that aren't in the textbook. They've learned things that aren't the things we grade them on. They've learned things about what it is to be a person. Human creativity is essential to contributing to the common good. And so by independently thinking, we are cultivating the grassroots of what it takes to be innovative. To, to think beyond the times in which we live and think, as tribal people say, seven generations into the future. To have the courage, to have the strength to face our weaknesses, our imperfections. I think that Gonzaga can demonstrate uh, the notion that learning begins where our comfort zone ends.